Welcome from the Strategy Execution Duke Corporate Education Partnership. Hi, my name is Jonathan Gilbert, and we're here to look at a course in the Adaptive Strategic Execution Program. Today, we'll look at building effective teams. I'm the product owner for the Adaptive Strategic Execution Program, and I'm the program manager for its development. Here is an agenda for our quick tour of building effective teams. We'll begin with an introduction where we'll talk a little bit about what the course is all about. We'll then talk about the learning objectives, which are the expected outcomes in completing the course. We'll take a look at the course organization, how the course is organized and the content at a high level. And then finally, we'll dig into an example of actual course material that students will experience in the course, in this case, an actual exercise. Building effective teams focuses on how to implement practices for leading highly effective teams in unstable and often distributed networked environments. Participants will learn how to build and guide diverse teams that can navigate the impacts of internal forces and how to form, co coach, and lead teams who are resilient and responsive to complex work and volatile contexts. Once a student has completed the course, they will be able to describe what a high-performing team is and establish the conditions that must be in place to create one. They'll be able to discover the structure and elements that comprise high-performing teams and apply tools that can be used to build them. They'll also be able to define the most important drivers of team performance in almost any environment. And finally, they'll be able to employ leadership behaviors and actions to improve the performance of their teams. The course is organized around eight modules. Module one is a focus on teams themselves. Module two deals with context and culture within organizations and then teams within organizations. Module 3 deals with team performance. Module 4 is all about directing teams. Module 5 is about the various structures of teams. Module 6 deals with the relationships within the team and with the team and the rest of an organization. Module 7 deals with leadership issues around building effective teams. And finally, Module 8 deals with the governance of effective teams and their structure. Now we'll look at an exercise from building effective teams. And this is a, an exercise that enables participants to use a team assessment tool to be able to assess their team strengths and their team opportunities for improvement. There are nine different dimensions that we explore in the exercise and it will enable the student to be able to, when completed, take some vital information back to their teams so that they can improve the team's performance. So the exercise uh, is given to the students where they will be able to rate their current team's effectiveness using the assessment tool. Uh, there are nine different dimensions that I've mentioned. We'll take a look at those in a minute, but the exercise allows them to reflect on the nine different dimensions and give each one of the dimensions a rating based on their own reflection on their team. From a score of one being low to a score of seven, being high. Then the student will put a star next to the top three strengths of their current team and they'll put 
an O next to the top three opportunities for improvement. The nine dimensions also happen to mirror the units within the course itself. So there's a dimension around team results, there's a dimension around team performance, a dimension around a, the team context, a dimension around team culture, team direction, also around team structure. There's a dimension around the relationships within the team. There's also a dimension around the leadership attributes within the team. And then finally, a dimension around team governance. Once the student has completed assessing their team, they can then develop an action plan where they can take the opportunities for improvement back to their team so that they can improve team performance and ultimately build an effective team. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us at strategyx.com slash ASEP. Thank you.